Hey guys, I want to welcome you back. This is Dave from MyGunValues.com and today I'm gonna um, try to scare you to death. I'll be real honest with you because I'm worried sick and I want you to see what we're looking at with a Hillary Clinton presidency. I'll be the first to admit Donald Trump has said some stupid things, has done some stupid things, but he doesn't back down and he seems to have our interests at heart. What you see piled up on the table and standing up in front of the table are just a sampling of the guns that were outlawed in Australia in 1996. The reason I chose this pile is because Hillary Rotten Clinton has said she wants to introduce Australian style gun control and folks she's one Supreme Court nomination away from being able to get away with it um, short short of us taking up arms against her that's that's what she's got and I don't know about you but I would ra much rather beat her at the ballot box than have to beat her later when she tries to do away with the Second Amendment illegally so I just wanted to show you this what you see here on the table, and I'm going to try to pan the camera here so you can see it. What you see here on the table, let's see, over there on the far right we have some of these guns you've seen, some of them you haven't. We have uh, an 1148 Remington 16 gauge shotgun. Uh, illegal, semi-automatic. Of course next we have an AR-15 and you know they want to do away with those. The handguns you see are there because they're a mixture that have run afoul of the regulations in Australia. Now some of these regulations have been changed in the last few years, but all of these guns would have been confiscated under the Australian uh, under the Australian laws. In the box right there we have a Davis Arms Derringer, we have a Chi Chiapa Antique Finish Derringer, we have a Ruger Vaquero, there we have a uh, Taurus PT-92, I believe. We have a Smith & Wesson 1917. You've seen that. Uh, you've seen the C-Camp. You see a North American Arms that clips onto a belt buckle there. Uh, over here we have a, a Ruger Blackhawk and 44 Special. Down there on the bottom, under that, we have a Smith & Wesson Airlight in 44 Special. Oh, missed one here. Back there, not showing up real well, but we have a Colt Double Action 45 and 45 Long Colt. Buried down in there, there's a couple of 357s. Again, the, the way the law in Australia worked, oh, there's, there's 1911 or two buried in there too. The way the handgun law read is you couldn't you had to show a good reason to own a firearm, and self-defense was not a good reason. Which, you know, if that doesn't scare the living bejeebers out of you, I don't know what will. Any handgun above 38 or 9 millimeter was outlawed. That's why a lot of those are there. Or, if it couldn't be used for target, competition, ISPC, or something like that. Well, obviously, you're not going to use Derringers for ISPC and Derringers have been, you know, Derringers aren't target pistols and self-defense doesn't matter. So all those handguns you see on the table, oh wait a minute, there's an FN uh, 40 Smith & Wesson right there. I just, I just piled them up. You, you can get the idea. Of course the AR-15s would be gone. That's the first thing they want to get. But you can see the barrel sticking out. Let's see, where is it? right there that octagon barrel that's a Winchester 1890 and 22 short it would be illegal because it holds more than 10 rounds and it's a pump action okay next we have the SKS you guys have seen that in previous videos that would be illegal of course let's see right there you have a Stevens 16 gauge pump that holds six with one in the in the chamber that would be illegal holds more than five here we have 
one you've never seen. It's, it's going to be featured in an upcoming video. This is a Remington 740 Woodsmaster belonged to my grandfather. Semi-automatic would be illegal. Then we've got, let's see what else is hanging out there. Oh, there's my Varmint SK or Varmint AR hanging out. That one up on top was featured in a video several years ago. That's a 1910 Winchester chambered in 401 self-loader, but it's semi-automatic. Oh, uh, let's see, we got a Remington 597 there. We got a Remington uh, 141 and 35 Remington, it's a pump. We've got a Winchester Model 62, it's a pump. Down here on the end we have, what is that? That is an, oh, that's an Ithaca Featherweight uh, 20 gauge semi-automatic that would be illegal and then up on top uh, I did a video on the Mossberg 12 gauge pump it holds six with one in the tube that would make it illegal because the Australian rules are can't be able to hold more than five rounds of its pump or semi-automatic so all those under an Australian style gun scheme would be gone now I don't have them up there because quite honestly I didn't want to scratch them up but M1 carbine illegal I mean, a lot of you are going to have M1 carbines that maybe your dad or your grandfather brought back from World War II and some of you World War II vets that are still with us may have some M1 Garand would be illegal you know um, Mini 14 illegal all of these weapons that are collector's items would be illegal under Australian style gun control. So I, I as again I'm aware Donald Trump is not perfect but this is my video to support him for president. Um, voting for Hillary will result in more gun restrictions, will result in a Supreme Court that we can't alter for probably 10 to 15 years to get it back into the balance of power, if ever. I know a lot of you don't like him, but you know what? A lot of people didn't like General George Patton in World War II, but he got it done. He did what he had to do, and I, that's why I'm supporting Trump, even though I've got reservations in some things he said. And while we're on the subject, I don't believe the women that have come out, because none of them bothered to come out till a month before the election. I believe they're all Democrat moles. Um, the video, the, the audio that they've got of him, guys and you know, women, I'm sorry if you don't know this, but those, that kind of conversation goes on all the time in a men's locker room. I'm not, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying I've ever said it, but a lot of guys do. So I just wanted to bring out to you just, just a visual idea of what what would happen with a Hillary Clinton administration? This is, this is number one that she wants, folks. She wants the guns out of our hands. That way they can run roughshod over us. If you haven't seen the Project Veritas videos by James O'Keefe, if you haven't studied the WikiLeaks emails, all of it proves that we have a system that is rotten from the top down, and the only way to fix it is to put somebody in there who's not from within the system and that's both parties. So we got no choice as I see it. So, you know, again, I wanna thank you for watching. Sorry this wasn't a review or, you know, a how-to or anything that you've come to expect from us, but I felt this was too important. This is being filmed uh, just a little over two weeks before the election. So I just wanted you to see it. And by the way, if you are a Hillary Clinton supporter, I don't wanna hear it. I don't want to see it posted. I don't care. You're blind as a bat. And if you never darken our website doors or our uh, YouTube doors again, that's fine with me. I don't want you. I don't want your comments. I will not respond to your comments because I'm sorry if you if you can't see the writing on the wall as to what Hillary Clinton is and that she would wreck this country. It's close now. She will finish it off. If you can't see it, I don't want you. So for those of you who, who we have that, you know, respect the Second Amendment and understand what we're trying to do here, we appreciate you more than you can possibly understand. 
We ask that you contact us through the YouTube channel here or you can go to mygunvalues.com. I hope you all have a nice day. Thanks for watching.